Oh my god, it's even worse than I thought. What in the world are you? Pract e oh. That's how you pronounce that, if you're curious. Ah! Hi, Adi Ho, everyone. My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Tainted Grail. Thank you very much to Tainted Grail for sponsoring today's video. You guys know me, so I'm just gonna say two words, and that's all I need to say. Deck builder, roguelike. <laughs> Tainted Grail Conquest is a unique roguelike that takes the deck builder genre known from Slay the Spire into the next layer by adding a full layer of RPG experience and involving a fully voiced storyline. You can play nine different classes, choosing between Blood Mage, Pathfinder, Weird Hunter, Zealot, and many more. You will discover tons of awesome cards and passive, rune stones, items, and try to create your unique combo to beat the game and dive deeper into corruption. Some of the cool things you'll find in the game, map exploration with weirdness mechanics, deck building accompanied with runestone passive and usable items, side quest and NPC interactions, deep, dark storyline fully voiced in English, roguelike mechanics, and weekly events and endless modes adding tons of replayability. If you want to check out Tainted Grail for yourself, which I highly advise, there's a link down in the description box below to do so. The Tainted Grail Conquest, yes. Now we could choose any of these you unlock later. They did give me the option to be able to unlock them all for free to be able to try, but I figured why not just start where everyone else would start so you guys get a feel for it. And it's probably best usually in these kind of games, you know, the beginner class usually gives you the best feel and rundown of the game. So, you know, like someone like the Necromancer sounds cool but probably a little too big brain for me right now. Ooh, I can upgrade his abilities, get rune stones. I don't really have anything right now. You know, we're just starting fresh. Yeah, we'll just start. So out the gates we go and into the weirdness we approach. As you can see, it's spooky, tainted, and I get to choose my path. So the question is, which way do we want to go? I don't know what that is. That doesn't look great. I don't know what's over there though. Let's see, uh, enemy, 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 lots of enemies, but to be fair, it looks like it all kind of connects one way or the other. So you know what, let's just start out balls to the wall. We're, we're going enemy to enemy. This thing is hideous, atrocious, and I can't, oh my god, it's even worse than I thought. What in the world are you, an infected human? I don't know how to tell you this, but whatever this is, you are no longer a human. This enemy shape and the pulsation of its body suggests that you should be prepared for an explosive surprise. It's preparing for a special attack in two turns where evidently I think it's going to blow up on me. It's like deck building roguelikes. You know, we got X amount of energy we can use. Three, we have a hand. So we have some pretty basic stuff at the, the start of a run. Just, you know, dealing damage, gaining block. We can deal a hit and reduce their armor by 10 until the end of combat. Although they don't appear to have armor. The next hit does 100% extra damage, which seems needless when I could just, you know, hit him anyway. But I guess this actually makes sense because this would only hit for four to six, but if I double this, yeah. So we're gonna go broad reach into an attack, into another attack, and pray to God that we can kill him before he blows up on us. So we discard a hand as you would expect. We have one more turn until he's gonna explode or something like that. He's two hunter marks because of my passive, and at four, he'll become vulnerable. And when he's vulnerable, effect that doubles damage received from any source. Well, <laughs> like the sound of that. Ooh, deal three hits for four to six to random enemies. Interesting. So, if the next hit does 100% damage, it would only do one of these hits, right? Not all of them? Probably. But that's pretty good. I mean, minimum, we're looking at 12 here. So let's see. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, okay. Oh, it's because a hunter mark applied. I see. So if I do this again, it'll land on a hunter mark. Uh-huh. He's now vulnerable. And 100% incoming damage. So let's pop him. Okay. We're not letting that explosive pimple touch us today. No, sir. I leveled up. Let's freaking go. I get to pick a new card, eh? A new card. Deal one hit for 125% damage. Duplicate the next card played. Draw one card. It costs zero energy this turn. Or stun all enemies with no or negative armor. Stun prevents an enemy from performing any actions in the next turn. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's... You know, duplicating does sound rather fun. 
Stunning, though, is nice and defensive. Perhaps a necessary play. Yeah, I'm going to do it. Oh, and a new passive skill? Oh, I'm all about this. Okay, let's go with uh, Eternal Return. And we got some loot. Cracked e oh. That's how you pronounce that, if you're curious. It, oh, my, oh, my, wait, I have to deal with both of these now? Hold up. I mean, it was one thing. What is this? Tainted Force? A weird card. Increase armor of all enemies by 50 for two turns. If I don't play, I draw three cards less next turn? Oh, okay. Well, I'm not... I'm just going to have to draw three cards less. There's no way I can manage that. Holy cow. Okay, well... This enemy redirects damage from all of its allies to itself. Oh, so I can't even attack. Oh, he's gonna hit me for six to eight. Should I just stun him? I feel like I should just stun him. But there's no way I'm gonna do enough damage otherwise. Okay. Well, screw me. We're gonna we're gonna overhead. Bop. Get rid of your armor. Skirt. Yep, that's right. Nothing left. One hunter's mark. We'll work on that. Let's just do small strikes. Okay, it gets redirected to him every single time regardless. Okay. And then hit him with uh, with just uh, an attack. Okay, great. So I believe he's vulnerable for next turn or something like that. I draw three less cards though, screw me. Okay. Don't got much to work with here, do I? <sighs> okay. Yeah, this is... Just this is fine. Everything's fine. Actually, wait a second. This is actually... Watch this. This is perfect. Get him to vulnerable. Next attack doubled. And 32 to 48 damage. Boom! Yeah. You don't... St oh, wait, but... I, I'm seemingly just forgetting the fact that, you know, this dude's about to explode on my face. What is my ult here? Okay. So, if I charge it... I get to do one hit for 20 to 31. Hmm. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to get that in time. Ah! Ugh. Enemy tends to attack everyone on the battlefield and buff? No, 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 that's not okay. Although I could block. It blocks the next hit taken from an enemy. Okay. Well then, if I just did that twice, I should be fine, right? Stun all enemies with no or negative. Oh. Why didn't... Wait, can he not get stunned or... Immune to stun... Maybe I should look at these things, huh? Yeah. Maybe. Okay. Well, here's the deal. We're going to hit him. Whack. And then I'm going to block. And then I shouldn't take any instances of damage here. Because he's not attacking. He should get hit by his friend, if anything. Bop. Ew, wait, what the fudge is this? Flesh-eating maggot. Woo. This enemy either attacks or buffs its armor damage. Okay. Well, it has negative damage. So I should do like... Yeah, I just do extra damage to him regardless. Okay. Well, thinking we do some random damage. That kills you. And go ahead and block your next attack. And I think I'll use my ultimate. Steal one hit for 60 to 90. Boos! You're dead. Not quite a level up, but... Now, it wasn't a perfect fight. We don't have full health, but... Hello, Armed Wanderer! Hmm? Learn a new skill, get one out of three advanced cards. That's gotta be good. Forget a skill, remove one card from your deck. Now, that's tempting. You know, in a deck builder, you always want to... Figure out what synergy you want, and then sift out, I guess is a good way to say it, all the cards you don't want in your deck to be able to, you know, get that synergy going. But I'm just going to learn a new skill, because we, we don't have anything. Oh, ooh, look at these. Final strike. Deal one hit for 200% damage. Upgrade. For every enemy killed by this card, increase its damage by 10%. Now, does that mean he's just, for the rest of the game, I can stack this? That's pretty interesting. Finishing blow, deal one hit for 150% damage. 
For every enemy killed by this card, increase its damage by 200% until the end of combat. Oh, yeah, so I guess it's just permanently. This is pretty good, though. It's only one mana, but it's only one combat. And Deep Wound, mark an enemy for the next two turns. Each hit it receives while marked reduces their armor by 10 until the end of combat. So that's pretty good, especially if we come across some thick boys. Uh, but Amigo Face, I want to stack some final strikes. Screw it. So I'm going to do just that. Venture is the name of the game. Wait a second. I forgot to turn on my candle. Ah, oh, stupid. That doesn't look very inviting. Uh, but I'm going to attack these guys anyway. Double battle, whatever. You'll need all the numbers you can get. Ah, oh, I regret everything. What is this? Intends to debuff a bounty hunter and a mind bender. This enemy will spawn illusions of random enemies. Ooh, don't like that. Some sort of summoner and tainted force. Another weird card. Stun an enemy. If not played, next turn, gain 10 barrier. Oh, so this one's helpful because I lit my torch, my blaze. Burn level high. See, weirdness is repelled completely. Nice. Okay. Yep. That makes sense. Well, I like barrier. A pool of additional HP. Yeah. Yeah. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Or I could just stun, you know, that that is an option, too. Nobody has armor, but I like my barrier. So I'm going to block to avoid that damage. And then we are going to maybe double the overhead swing. Nah, not worth it. I don't like the randomness here. Let's uh, hit you. And... Oh, I should have done this first to reduce your armor. That was stupid of me. Because it does put it negative 10, which means we'll do, I assume, 10% extra damage? Is that how that works? I'm gonna... I'm just gonna say yeah. Alright. We got a barrier. Nah, so... And he added disturbance. Special. <laughs> Look at that face. Okay. I also realized I don't have to wait for this to be fully charged, but if I do, it does more damage. So right now, I can do it for 19 to 28. Which is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Actually, it's really good. Hold up. Okay, if I do this, that'll do, let's say, 12 damage. 78. Uh, then he'll be down to 58. Then I could do this when he's vulnerable. Still not quite enough. Curses. All right, well, you know what? Let's just finish this. I won't take any damage. I don't get to stack my cool card, but it was like the right thing to do. We get a new card. Oh, shoot. So I can gain two damage, unlock a new weapon slot for rune stones, or gain 30% max HP. Well, well, well. A new weapon slot sounds real nice. There to be who am I kidding? We're going damage. Let's be honest with ourselves. Okay. Uh, I think I might have to light a new torch here. Burn level low. Not for long. Boosh. But uh, I need more torches. Evidently, what is this thing? A blood altar. Do I even want to? <laughs> Screw it. Pushing my luck, baby. Gamba! Oh, no. 75? This enemy will negate every hit under a certain threshold of damage. You can also deliver a certain amount of hits to temporarily get rid of this buff. Okay, well, nobody here has armor. So, this is pretty easy, because... I can just go... Oh. And then... Decrease the armor of these guys. So that this abomination helps me out there when he does attack. It'll negate the damage here, but I don't believe the armor debuff part. Nope. Big brain. Uh, I'm going to... See, is the blood altar, does that mean I'll heal or am I sacrificing HP? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. 
Who doesn't love a little bit of Gamba? Stun an enemy. If not played next turn, gain 10 barrier. Well, all of that is interesting. He intends to give me a bad card, honestly. Not the... <gasps> Ooh, double pain. Wait a second. This is the combo we're looking for. I'm going to do it. Double pain. Deep breath. Two guard. So we're not taking damage. We get two minus one cost next turn. And then... Small strikes. Ba -da -ba. I like it. And I'll get 10 barrier. Look at that hand. I mean, how bad is it? Like... What am I... I'm gonna just take... Probably 14 damage. I have a barrier. And to be fair, I can get one block off, I think. Yeah, ready? Watch this. We're gonna mop. Now damage into them is gonna be doubled. So, yeah, I literally can't miss here. So we're gonna stack that. Bop! One more energy. So let's do the Amaryllis. Dude. Easy. Oh my god. And then my barrier shall protect me. Now hit. Bata bata. Wait for a guaranteed kill. What are you going to do? Buff? You're going to debuff. Um. Well, don't lock what you're all doing. -y. Again. What? Uh, how do we. I just don't really do that much. Damage. You see what I'm picking up here? And unless I do damage, it does not stack my small strike. So I have to kill him with my weird hunter, you think, right? In which case. Oh, but it doesn't count if it goes in. Okay, good news. Guaranteed to die. Oh, whoosh. Get out of me face. Forget about it. You know I'm going to stun you just because I can. And then I'm going to double up on this. That's a lot of... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Bada bing, bada boom, man. Eh? Alright. Please heal me instead of damaging me. But I'll pray. Ah! Requires HP. Sacrifice HP for two weird candles. I mean, that's pretty good. Sacrifice HP to remove one card from your deck. 33 health. Sacrifice HP for a level up. Weird candles. Level up. Weird candles. Level up. Rather, leave myself at 2 HP. Don't forget. So let's go with the weird candles. Oh. Now, what is that? I wonder. It's time. Uh, I'm nervous. Oh, it's a big boy. Holy oh, thousand health, Batman. Crumbling stones. Gulm will spawn a new enemy after receiving 10 hats. <laughs> enemy tends to attack all enemies and buff for a lot of damage. How much you buy? Any 75 armor? Holy heckers. Okay. What's this? Reduce damage of all enemies by 75% this turn. If not, reduce the cost of one random card by two. Okay, as long as I can get a block. Yeah, okay, so I'm not going to play that. Uh, so reducing armor is a big one. That did one health. Huge. Okay, we're going to go... F That's how much armor he has? My stack thing's only doing 9 to 12. Good lord. Um, we'll block for sure. And it's even worth doing three to four damage. Honestly, no. I think I the only attacks I do right now are to reduce his armor. And we'll see if he has other mechanics. But I'm gonna wait it out. We're gonna wait it out. I don't wanna know what his buff's gonna be. I'm kinda scared about that, but.
What did he? Oh. So he transferred armor into damage. He's going to buff himself again. Does he maybe just keep switching back and forth, back and forth? Ooh, random attack is good here. Reduce armor by 50 this turn. This could be our moment to attack. And I could double it. Oh, but that's only the hit itself, I guess, right? But then what do I even follow it up with? Oh, wait. I need to stun him because he's going to attack me three times. Okay. Yeah, so let's go broad reach. And then do that. Uh, I don't remember hitting you ten times. He says he'll spawn a new one after receiving eight more hit. Uh, stun all enemies with no or negative armor. Oh, hoo -hoo, this is nice. Stupids. Ah. Wait, so every time I stun him. 300. Are you kidding? Is it? What the? Holy suck. Okay, we're, this is, this is bad, frankly. Yeah, this is bad. Not gonna lie to you. Sure, taking anywhere from 12 to 18 and 7 to 10. Uh-huh. Well, that's, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and heal once. Go ahead and do that. I have to double a block. And then... Reduce his armor even more. And then pray somehow. I, I don't know how much we're going to be able to do exactly, but... Wait, are these guys attacking me or not? Like, did they hit me? I can't really tell. Oh my god, what have I done? Oh my god, what have I done? Am I dead? Are they all attacking me? Is this how I die? I'm going to pop another health potion because it might be how I die. Uh, that was not worth it. Because let's see, right now I'd be doing maybe half his health. But maybe not, you know? And that's kind of my trump card. Uh, I think I'm just going to take out... To, uh, this guy is the most health. What did he get? Seize the opportunity. Deal one hit for 15 to 21. I'm going to be honest, that wasn't worth it. Okay. But it's too late now. So I'll take 17 to 26. That could just kill me. All right, you know what? I'm doing it. Ah! Well, you live and you learn. We unlock blood loss, blessed curse and rage. Now I also know going into that fight what not to do, aka stun him. Yeah, don't, don't, do not stun him. And unfortunately, half my deck was stunned. And then I'm like, surely, he, there's a limit to how, and then they just kept popping. 